I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss a question from previous test paper. We are trying to find the equation of the lines and we will do part C where we need to find the scalar equation. The question here is write the scalar equation of the line r equals to 2 minus 3 plus t 5 1. Now I will use two different ways of finding this scalar equation. Right? So let me divide this in two parts. So let me rewrite the equation of the line also which is r equals to 2 minus 3 plus t 5 1 right. I hope you remember what is scalar equation. It is of the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 in r2 right. So we need to write in this form where a and b are actually normals, right? So in this equation, normal vector is actually a, b, right? That is what the scalar equation is. Now, we are given here the direction vector. So we are given in this equation the direction vector, which is phi 1. So from the direction vector, we can always read the normal vector. We need to flip this, so 1, and change one of the signs. Let's change this sign, so that becomes the normal vector. Once we have the normal vector, these are a and b values in the equation of the line. So a is 1, we could write this as x minus 5 for b, right? So that is y plus c equals to 0. To get the value of c, we'll use the point. So we are given the position as 2 minus 3, right? That's the position. So we can replace x and y with 2 and minus 3. So 2 minus 5 minus 3 plus c equals to 0. And from here, we can find what c is, right? So we have 2 plus 15 plus c equals to 0, or c is equals to minus 17. So therefore, the equation is x minus 5y minus 17 equals to 0. So that becomes the scalar equation of the line. Alternate way to do is we could write symmetric form of this equation from here. We are given the point. So the point is uh, we could write this as x minus the x value divided by the direction 5. That is equals to y minus y value which is minus 3 which becomes plus 3 divided by 1 and this is equal to the parameter t, right? That is how we see the symmetric form. So if I cross multiply, I straight away get my scalar equation. So if I cross multiply, I get x minus 2 equals to 5 times y plus 3, correct? So let's expand the right side, 5y plus 15, bring them to the left side, so we have x minus 5y minus 2 minus 15 equals to 0 or x minus 5y minus 17 equals to 0. So that is our answer, right? So either way, you could do it. Both are equally good ways of doing it. I hope this is a better method. It could be applied in R3 also very easily, right? So that is how you should be doing it. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.